Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all of your packet loss, ping issues, and other network related issues in Valorant. I hope this guide helps you out to fix everything. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started without wasting any more time. All right, step number one is always using an Ethernet cable. No matter how fast your Wi-Fi is, at the end of the day, it's a wireless internet connection. And with wireless internet connection comes latency. You can never get zero latency using a wireless connection. So I would always recommend you guys to use a wired internet connection that could be LAN or something. Invest it in once and you'll always be grateful for that. Step number two is going to be heading over to your network adapter settings. And for that, open up control panel and then you want to have to click on network and internet. Then head over to network and sharing center and this time you have to click on ethernet then head over to its properties and then click on configure head over to power management and you have to uncheck this option and then this option make sure that all three of these options are unchecked this will disallow your computer to turn off your ethernet cable in case your pc is utilizing more power once it disables the power saving feature on your ethernet cable all of your jitter will go right away don't forget to click on the ok button and then click on the properties tab once again now you want to have to click on internet protocol version 4 double click on that and then select use the following dns server addresses then i would want you to open up command prompt and then you have to type in ping 8.8.8.8 these are google servers press enter and this will find the ping from your pc to the google servers over here you have to take a note of your average ping which is about 28 milliseconds now you have to type in ping 1.1.1.1 and these are cloudflare servers press enter and this will find your latency to the cloudflare servers and as you guys can see that i'm getting the average 23 milliseconds of ping with the cloudflare servers so i'm going to be using the cloudflare servers right over here so if you have selected google servers it would be 8.8.8.8 and the alternate DNS server would be 8.8.4.4 but if you're using Cloudflare servers you're gonna be setting it to 1.1.1.1 and the alternate server would be 1.1.0.0 so just gonna be setting that these are the Cloudflare servers click on the OK button and now you're gonna be using the server which are closest to you and it is giving you the lowest ping possible once that is done click on OK and you have to click on the properties tab once again this time click on config and then head over to the advanced tab over here you have to change some of these settings first of all ARP offload should be set to disabled energy efficient ethernet should be turned off flow control should be disabled idle power down restriction should also be disabled interrupt moderation enabled interrupt moderation rate I have gone with low IPv4 checksum offload all of the offloads should automatically be set to disabled so IPv4 checksum offload you have jumbo packet disable that large send offload IPv4 and IPv6 both of them should be set to disable locally administered addresses not present ns offload disabled packet priority and vlan should be set to packet priority and vlan enabled speed and duplex i have gone with auto negotiation over here however some of you guys will find better performance with 2.5 gbps full duplex tcp checksum offloads should be set to disabled udp checksum offloads should also be set to disabled wake on magic packet disabled and wake on magic packet from s5 should also be set to disabled wake on pattern match should also be set to disabled and then click on ok this is how you set up your ethernet for best performance and reduced packet loss right away click on the close button and then you have to close your network and sharing center next step is using gear booster to eliminate all kind of lags packet loss ping issues and other network related issues you can download it for free from the link in the description below once you open it up you guys will find more than 500 games on the application on multiple platforms including ps5 xbox and other platforms you can simply Simply search for Valorant over here. Simply select your game and then choose the nearest server which should be shown right on top. And this will one click connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance and it will help you to optimize your network and latency issues. You can also launch your game right from here and you will see your estimated ping, packet loss and other routing details right on the bottom. Head over to the burger icon and then go over to settings. Go to optimization settings and click on optimize RAM after boosting. This will also help you to improve the performance of your RAM while you are gaming so that you'll always have a headroom to perform better. Once again, gear booster will help you to fix all kind of internet related issues, packet loss, spikes and jitter. And I have left a free download link to gear booster right in the description below. Next is heading over to device manager. Over here, look for your network adopters and find the ethernet controller. Right click on that 
head over to its properties then have to go over to power management and uncheck both of these options from here as well then you have to go over to the drivers tab and then click on update driver search for the drivers automatically and then you have to install that over here once that is done simply close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and then you have to select your local disk c click on the create button and name it network just so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your pc settings back to normal without any form of data loss once that is done close and close system properties the next step is valorant network optimization pack i'll be leaving a free download link to this right in the description below you guys can go and download it from there First, you will find three simple folders which are absolutely important over here. The first one is network optimization in which you will find a BCD tweaks and network optimizer. The BCD tweaks will help you to set to disable the dynamic high precision event timer and synthetic timers which are known cause of inducing latency. This will help you to disable that. Right click and then run it as administrator. Next is network optimizer and if you edit it in notepad, you guys can see all of the things that it is going to change on your PC to optimize your network's performance. What you have to do is simply right click on this as administrator and then you have to restart your pc once you are back head over to the second folder which is useful registries in which i have left three very useful registries over here first one is disable unnecessary services which help you to remove unwanted services running in the background which might be consuming your internet then increase power efficiency this will help you to optimize the power flow on your pc and disable any kind of power saving features on your hardware that could be causing unwanted latency issue and the last one is an optional registry which is helping you to lower input lag and boost your fps you have to right click and then open it up with registry editor and let it run in the background this helps you to optimize the performance of your cpu drastically last is the power plan settings in which i have left import ultimate performance power plan you wanna have to right click and then run it as administrator this will run a powershell command on the background of your pc which will add a new power plan onto your pc to access that head over to power plans and then click on show additional plans and select ultimate performance power plan in this list if you are not already using Using this it will disable all kind of power saving features on your storage device on your ethernet cable on your ram and your cpu and will help you to optimize the performance of your system be aware of it that if you're using a laptop this might cause heating issue so you might want to have to switch to balanced and ultimate performance regularly once all of that is done feel free to close this network optimization pack now the next step is windows settings and for that head over to settings on your pc right over here you have to go down to windows update then you'll find something called advanced options click on that and then delivery optimization what you guys have to do is simply disable download from other devices and once you've disabled that you have to simply Simply close it. Next step is really important, which is editing your firewall. For that, simply search for allow an app through Windows Firewall, press enter, and now you guys will see a list of applications on your PC. Click on change settings over here, and then you have to click on allow another app. Click on the browse button and then go to the download location of Valorant. It would be right under local disk C for most of you guys. Head over to Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and then you will find Valorant Win64 shipping right over here. Click on open and then click on the add button if it is not already added it would add valorant over here and you have to check on both private and public over here once that is done click on the ok button once all of that is done you guys can now drop into the game and see if that helps you to fix all of your network issues if it does do let me know in the comments and if it didn't you guys can drop your query over there as well that was it for this video guys i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel and it really shows me that you guys are into my content I'll see you all in another amazing and useful video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.